G Money to push on Taste Radio Dash Radio. Mm. Here, another one of them ones from the Midwest. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Big ghetto. Yes, ghetto sir. boys out here. RMC Mike, man, the real money counters in the world. Uh, I appreciate Thanks you for having thing. me, man. What? Thank you, man. For sure. Shit, the ghetto boys, GB, those are my initials too. So I always want to give me, yeah, hell That's yeah. dope. That's you know dope. what I mean? So. Uh, I want to congratulate you on senior season. I appreciate that. Out now. Yes, sir. You know, graduation. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. So, so let's talk about the series, man. Um, how have you grown as an artist since rookie season? I've grown a lot, for real. I mean, you, it's really self-explanatory with the with the with the with the music. You know, what I'm saying the body of work. You can tell it's just the elevation within them couple of years. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I definitely learned a lot. Like I'm more focused on making real songs now, you know? Yeah. Like songs with a substance to it. Instead of just going in there and just rapping over the whole beat. Yeah. So you know, living and learning, I'm trying to be more versatile. So You good at both though. You good yeah. at both of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um now, okay, it, it can sound like that, but mm -hmm. is senior season the final installment in the series? Are you done with it after this? Um uh, that's a good question, cause I really undecided about it. I was just gonna leave it at that and mm -hmm. come up with some whole other shit. But I got a couple people that's kind of been on me, like, yeah, I think you should do. Like, you did the senior season. They wanted me to do some shit like graduation or like some other shit. I don't know, man. Look, I, don't, I still it's still undecided. You know, niggas in the hood. Sometimes it takes them about five years to finish high school. Niggas mm -hmm. are super seniors. Mm -hmm. That's the deluxe right there. Super senior. That's hard. You feel me, niggas? That's are super hard. Seniors out here. I. You just gave me. That's hard. Come on, man. I need super that. Super senior. Super senior. I know that's a bunch hard. of niggas. That, I've been in high school six years. I'm gonna have to keep that right there. No, got to. No, got that's to. Down. We, so, so this project represents though that that period where your film finally feel like as an artist, yeah. you're making the music, you're making the song. Exactly, that's exactly, what it, that's exactly what it is. And, and big ghetto, you know, it's mm. going up right now with yeah, Peasy. With Peasy, you know what I mean. Um, with these collaborations, I know you got a lot of a lot of partners and people you deal with in the game, but mm -hmm. does it always come organically, or is it a mix of business and relationships? Honestly. <clears throat> it, uh, it do come more organically. That's that's the type of that's just how I like to work for real. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I don't want shit to be forced. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like when it's forced, it don't come out as is as good as if it was organic. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So I let that shit just happen organically. Yeah, and and, and that's the way it should. It's no, business. for sure, for sure. You know, um, because your music and, and how you choose your collaborators. We're gonna get into real after that, but you mm -hmm. choose the collaborations. You put a lot of folks on that may have not been heard of, but I'm, I'm assuming they're your people, they're no, the artists sure. that you work with. For sure. You know, um, you say some of the raw shit in your music, but it connects. Right. And, and if you're from the struggle, you're from the hustle, you get it. Like um, on Purple Jeans, right? On mm -hmm. sophomore season, you said, I knocked my stab daddy out last week. Boy, you ain't Melvin. Yeah. Oh. I, 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 I relate to that because yeah. I had to put hands on my step for rest in peace a long time ago. No, so shit sure. like that, man, he say some off the wall shit and, <laughs> and uh, what, man, pussy tastes like baked beans. You know? <laughs> That's my favorite side dish right now. <laughs> Is it? You know, Thanksgiving this shit, I love them baked beans. The baked man. beans, but man. Be fine. Yeah, so. So how do you come up with, with some of the, or not how do you come up with it, mm -hmm. but is there ever any lines that have come to you, you like, nah, that's too raw, I can't say that shit. Not necessarily because, like nine times out of 10, the shit that I, say, uh, that I be saying is like, either I'd have seen it, yeah. I'd have heard, heard about it, or you know what I'm saying, I'd have actually lived it before, but mm -hmm. I, I feel like, Hey, at the end of the day, this shit entertainment, man. Ain't no hold back with that shit. This what made me who I am. For by right. not, you know what I'm saying, second guessing myself. And, yeah. Oh, uh, no, nah, we're going we gonna to need a raw, a uh, cut. For real. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what these people want to hear. They want to hear the raw, uncut shit. That's what really helped blow our career up so fast. You know what I'm saying? So. For real. And, and there's that line between tragedy and comedy. No, and, for sure. And you, you're talking real shit. But there's there are always artists, special artists that can say something. It mm -hmm. can be violent, it can be crude, but it comes off and it's 
hilarious. No, for sure. You, you know, serious subject, man. It's like dark comedy. No, you know? for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> got a bottle of Taylor Port. She going to twerk for hours. Oh. Like, <laughs> I said, the Taylor, you know, Taylor Port was taking over the, 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 well, I know back home. I don't know about the world. She but, in New York, too. That, that's yeah. what I, it stuck with me. You Taylor, said Taylor Port. I said, Taylor Port was job. like, was some of the biggest shit when it came out of at that point. Yeah. You feel me? So shit is sweet and then it's knockout juice. No, for sure. You, I ain't, you ever had a, you ever had some? I had some years ago. I had some. I said this shit. I fuck ain't me never up. tasted it. Oh no, nah, you don't need to touch that. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a famous uh, a female rapper that offered me some in a um in the studio. I said, okay. I'm good, I'm good on that. That's yeah, that, I, ain't, that, that I ain't never I ain't never tasted, but I know it gets you that way for yeah. sure. Hell yeah. Um now, you know, you're from Flint, Michigan, yes, sir. Flintstone, and, and I've heard you talk about, you know, just being a small town, small city, but yeah. you made a lot of big noise, you and your, your rhyme partner, no, for sure. you know, real the young OG, and y'all met like, what, ninth, 10th grade, and no, for sure, been rocking man. ever since. Been rocking every since, like, we grew up in the same hood, so it was like, niggas used to see each other all the time, you feel me? But it was like, it, like you said, it, it went to like ninth, 10th grade, to where we really like, mm -hmm. Start kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And every since then, we we damn near inseparable. Yeah, and it's safe <clears> to say, <throat> especially in your city, right now, mm -hmm. y'all y'all stamped as legends from what y'all did. No, for sure. You know the Dumb and Dumber series and, and whatnot. Yeah. And, and the fans don't separate y'all. They don't. They can't. I've been looking in your comments. You <clears> dropped <throat> a project. Mm -hmm. They be in the comments like no Rio feature. Mm -hmm. Like they going in. No, they going. They and, going and they missing them. You know. But look, I got something for y'all for that, so don't even worry about it. Yo, I was going to say, we you got, got something, got something to tell them, man. We got something for y'all. We, <laughs> we got something sneaky for the pop out on y'all ass. Oh, say. man, for real. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, and my brother Grind Hard E just dropped a tape today. Okay. And Eddie, Eddie. With me, it's me, Rio, and Grind Hard E. See, you heard that. He's like the originators of the Spice Target shit. He dropped a little That's EP it. today. So, yeah. Y'all go check that out, man. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Grind hard. E, Rio, the young OG, and RMC Mike. Yeah, I got to run that up, man. I've been on senior season heavy. I, I really fuck with sophomore season. Everything y'all do, dumb and dumber. Y'all got great chemistry, but as mm -hmm. a solo artist, you're doing your thing. I appreciate um, that. I appreciate and, and that. Detroit is having like a hip hop run renaissance, Hell right? Yeah. Hip hop Hell renaissance yeah. phase. For sure. So I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. um, has the light that's being shined on Detroit been beneficial to you? Hell yeah, because believe it or not, I still got a lot of fans that think I'm from Detroit. So it's like, it, it, it helps for sure. Yeah. And then it also helps with most of the niggas who doing their thing right now in Detroit. They genuinely fuck with me. So. Yeah, man. It go hand in hand. It, it sure enough does. And, and it's beautiful that can have that type of love within yeah. the state. Is, um, oh, for sure. You know, we see that in New York. Like, you know, New York City was mm -hmm. what it was, but then we, we got niggas from Buffalo and Rochester you know, and they going crazy sure. and, and we just all support because you ain't got no choice. We ain't got, got no mean? choice. Like, the music's going to speak for it. Hell yeah. Um, now, um, I did want to ask you about this, man, for uh, the viewers and the listeners that are out here, right? Yeah. How would you describe your city, Flint, and the music that's coming out of it? Because it's not Detroit. Our music probably just straight to the point, man. It's just like, I don't know how to say it. It's like a lot of artists, we just get, we give y'all everything. Like, we don't just give y'all 80 percent of what's going on you know what i'm saying we giving y'all 100 110 percent of, of what's really going on like yeah uncut raw rap that's how i explain the music from our city and it's a lot of hard ass musicians from my city that ain't that the world ain't get to hear yet mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's a it's a lot we got a lot of underground talent and if it take for well, that's what we trying to do that's what me and rio and louie and jay and all us crispy life and Grams, all of that's what we trying to do, bro. We trying to mm -hmm. shine global light on our city to where motherfuckers can see these other artists. Like yeah. we got real gems hidden mm -hmm. in Flint, bro. It's a real dope ass music. Y'all going up? It's the spice talk. <clears throat> it's the right. spice talk. That's spice talk. But but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right if we didn't talk about a major accomplishment you just showed me so you you own a drag racing car talk, talk to us about drag racing and your oh, yeah. for that we get oh, out yeah. of here. <clears throat> see i um i really was just born into it see my father and, and like his side of the, the family always been into like street racing and shit like that so we got a couple cars 
you know what I'm saying, that we built, that we raced on the streets and at the track, you know what I'm saying? But me and my me and my father built the car. I got a uh thousand plus horsepower, five point on Mustang mm. that we built. You know what I'm saying? And uh we raced as a you know, just a father and son bonded thing, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I always had a passion for cars. So it was just it just connected like that. It just, but yeah, we do that real often. Like go drag racing. So yeah. it's beautiful. The 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 passion for music's paying and helping you get into other things and no, for what sure. other stuff. So Hell yeah. And I even rap about it. You know what I'm saying? I rap, I rap about drag racing a lot too. You know what I'm saying? I always talk about the Mustang and yep. shit like that. So yeah, I try to bring y'all into my life a little bit. Well, you know, I'm I'm, I'm really thankful that you sat down here and I got a chance to hear the raspy voice in person. <laughs> like yes, the raspy voice. Um, let let the listeners know how they can get in contact with you, Mike. Oh, uh, uh, I'm on all social media for real. RMC Mike is gonna pop up anywhere, man. I'm talking about you type in that name, that name gonna pop up on anything: Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, all that, YouTube, wherever you listen to music. Type in RMC Mike. I'm right there, guaranteed. You heard it, man. The the inventor of the Spice Talk, man. Yes, sir. So RMC Mike, G Money, Free Rio. Free Rio, man. You heard it, man. Senior season out now. Yes, sir. Go stream that. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, yeah, bro. Absolutely.